for like the rap. She just was going like this. I know. Oh. Sorry, I wasted so much time. I think, she was, I think she was calling me crazy. Yeah, really. <laughs> I think she was telling me to keep going. These buttons when people come up and say, "I loved you in sex education," I just say, "Thank you, thank you so much." But you know, I just decided I'm just gonna can as hard as I can. You know, I can in the morning, I can at night. If I'm honest, I'm canning a little bit right now. <laughs> um. So cool. <laughs> I think you're actually more like Young Hercules. <laughs> Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest on your favorite celebrities, films, and TV shows, and we're not afraid to get a little sassy while doing it. In this video, we explore the charming and amusing instances of Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie as they promoted Barbie. The two talented actors share a great rapport, and their comical interactions while sitting together are a delight to watch. Were you Barbies when you were younger? I did not. Did you? I don't know how to lower the register of my voice. It's like, and I'm <laughs> You're excited. In, Bobby yeah. Boy. So, actually, the auditioning process is trouble. Oh, he just peed. I dyed my hair blonde. You know what I'm saying? Like, you oh, think no. you're not going to lean in, and then you find yourself dyeing your hair blonde, <laughs> or in Ryan's case, shaving his shaving legs. Your legs. And you oh, just. And you're wearing neon rollerblades, and then you're wearing. Ryan Gosling shared in an interview that Margot Robbie initiated a weekly pink day on set of their movie, where everyone had to wear something pink or pay a fine. However, all the collected fines were donated to a charity. The male crew members embraced the idea and even made custom pink crew shirts with rainbow fringe as a token of their respect for Margot and the director, Greta Gerwig. This tradition created a sense of unity and camaraderie on set with everyone enthusiastically participating and supporting each other. And then you're wearing lightning bolt headbands. And, <laughs> and you're all in. You, know, you have to lean in, right? Casually wearing fake minks. Yeah. There's no toe dipping when it and comes loving to Barbie. It. It's, it's, all it's, and loving it. It's you're in. When you're in, you're, you go hard. They just wanted to know. Whoa. Is that Krav Maga? Gerwig doing Barbie. What does that look Come on, like? Come on, Come on. So. Hey. Um, yeah, words. and she plays one of the Barbies in the movie, pretty much because Greta and I thought it would be funny. <laughs> hey guys. Can I offer you a, a picture of ball? my husband, also named Ken? I was hoping no. you would. No! Come on! Whoa, he's he, such oh, a Ken! The exactly Ken energy is strong point. with this yeah. one. Oh my god, he's, oh, yeah. that's foil boss? Is he stand up paddling? He's, 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 no, he's kite foiling. Oh, Come on, Ryan. I can't believe I said that. I can't either. Can you, we haven't, that out? you haven't no, foiled that long. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Your job in this uh, movie is being. Margot's so flaw is that she has no flaws. <laughs> yeah. And that's. This is right. that's it's not annoying. Fun. Man, it's yeah. it's kind of annoying. <laughs> what type of Ken would you say that, that Ryan and I are? And what type of Barbie would you say Margot is based on who you know her to be as a person? Oof. Margot praises Ryan's performance as Ken in the movie, calling it the best version of Ryan Gosling ever seen on screen. Ryan initially did not have the role on his bucket list, but Margot's encouragement led him to give it a try. During filming, Margot left daily beach-themed gifts on set for Ryan, from Barbie to Ken, to help him understand the character better. I would never tell Barbie what Barbie is. That is the first that's that was a trick rule question. Being a that was a trick question you yeah, yeah, asked, yeah. sir. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Ryan, do you have any requests for Ken? You know, just like accommodations, really, like <laughs> a place to stay at night. Yeah. We're still not sure what happens to the Kens yeah. when the Barbies go home. Yeah. They, we think they huddle on the beach for warmth. I watched snippets of a lot of different things to, Whoa. in case it was helpful Whoa. for the movie. Guys. Guys. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, uh, <laughs> Show me. Should we intervene? Seems personal. <laughs> Margot Robbie's Barbie trailer intrigued fans with a scene where Barbie steps out of her pink heels, revealing her arched feet. Fans debated if it was CGI or her real feet maintaining balance. In a TikTok video, Robbie revealed that it took eight takes and double-sided tape on the floor to secure the shoes. She clarified that it was just coordination and balance with no additional support. This provided insight into practical techniques used to achieve the scene. Did they have beef? What happened backstage, bro? What happened backstage, bro? <laughs> hey, dude, my dude, my dude, please, please, my dude. For people who actually have a Ken in their lives, mm -hmm. what's your best advice? Congratulations. <laughs> and oh, beyond. The only thing different is he spells his name with two N's. Ooh. Oh, like that's, an extra that's, Ken that movie. Is, that's the most Ken thing I've ever <laughs> that, heard, actually. I totally uh, it's agree. It's two N's? Exactly. Yeah, Ken, Ken with two N's. Yeah. The Kens were invited to stop by, but obviously not allowed to sleep over. Ryan couldn't make it. He didn't want to sleep over anyway. And uh, so instead he's- Had other things to do. He sent a singing Please. telegram what for am I, us. Ken? I'm not going to. 
and cool. and yeah, there was like a knock at the door. And I'm not sold on the film, but who would who would you cast in it? I um, <laughs> in Cubby's one. I in Cubby's one. <laughs> Fort Fort Part One. Uh, well, Ryan, obviously, of because course. the man can do yes. everything. Margot Robbie and her husband, Tom Ackerley, were initially skeptical about the possibility of creating a Barbie movie. However, after reading Greta Noah's script, they were impressed by its brilliance. Despite their reservations, they decided to produce the film through their production company, Lucky Chap. Margot even signed on as a producer before considering the role of Barbie herself. Um, I'm gonna kill it. He Cubby. can do Cubby Cubby one. Cubby one. I can't believe it. Cubby one. And I'm gonna two. come at that thing so hard. <laughs> You're not gonna know it. We don't have a place to go as Ken's. I don't know what that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> but there's no house for us That's to. That's true. There's no. Yes. Greta, there's Greta for us and to I congregate, like. You know? We like to joke that the Kens just go inert at, at like sleep yeah. time. They're just like on the beach, staring <laughs> off into the distance. While we get in a, you know, get into bed in our dream house. I'm glad that's it. funny to you. It <laughs> <laughs> it's just to be there as long as I'm just you know appreciating How the awesomeness of Barbie. That looks. Right. I'm Thank you. That. Thank I'm you for way. saying that. Thank you, Mark. Wow, Marco. We feel seen. Thank I see, you. I see you right? again. Okay, because of like, you know, the rhythm of which they talk, or we might watch the red shoes for like, <laughs> you know, the colors. And um, then it's right for the leg sweep. See? And I knew you would do it. Look at him, he's in it. He loves it though. He's the problem with it. I worked as a kid. Oh, <laughs> I didn't do it actually. So, what's that? I didn't. Yeah, what was your job? I started off by stealing <laughs> my brother's toys and then selling them yeah. on the street. It's genius. And just m marking up the price <laughs> so much. And then he'd be upset, obviously, that his toys are all gone. But Margot was apprehensive about pitching the idea to Mattel and Warner Brothers, fearing rejection. But after securing Greta as the director, Margot became fully committed to the project. To celebrate, Greta organized a slumber party for Barbie dolls with celebrity guests like Dua Lipa, Issa Rae, Emma Mackey, and Nicola Coughlin. The Kens, played by Ryan Gosling, Simu Liu, and Scott Evans, were invited to the party, but not for a sleepover. Would you spend it immediately so that no one could? No, I was pretty. Back? I was pretty frugal. <laughs> I, was, I, mean, I stretched that dollar. You basically started eBay, is what you're saying. That's probably why. That's when you started your production it. company. With exactly. That money. Exactly. With the Hot Wheels money. What's the most Barbie thing that Barbie does? Just be awesome, and all the time, forever, times infinity. <laughs> One. Lucky Chap, the production company owned by Margot, organized weekly movie screenings at the Electric Cinema in Notting Hill, London. The purpose of these screenings was to ensure that everyone involved in the production of Barbie was on the same page. The cast and crew were invited to attend these screenings every Sunday and watch a different movie that was used as a reference in Barbie. They fondly referred to these gatherings as movie church. Plus one. Margo, what's the most Ken thing that Ken does? Gives answers like that. <laughs> Beach. He's, he's always there to support Barbie in and and bigger up and you know. It's a great job. That's <laughs> wouldn't want to do anything. Everyone else. needs a Ken in their life. Mm. Be working together again, right? You're going from Barbie to an Ocean's Eleven film together. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, so I'm just saying you guys aren't tired of each other yet, I assume. I'm not. Are you sick of me yet? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at me. You see right. how hard I'm kenning? It's kenning so hard. It is day one Look of at, the press tour. Look at what so you've done. Hard. Young Hercules. <laughs> I can't believe you I brought did that it up. Up. Did you guys know that Ryan played Young Hercules? Yeah, but we're both answering questions. <laughs> so I've answered mine. I was so excited when I found that out. That was a really fun day on set when you revealed that. And then... In an interview, Ryan Gosling was asked about his role in the movie where he played a supporting character to the lead actress, Barbie. The interviewer pointed out that he was essentially taking on a traditionally female role, with more focus on his physical appearance than the leads. Gosling had to dye his hair for the role, but he loved it and felt at home with it. He grew up in a household of strong women, including his older sister, who was his hero and leader. He felt that playing a supporting role allowed him to become a kid again and embrace that dynamic. I went down like a whole internet rabbit hole and kept screen grabbing, sending you pictures of I knew I was going to open a can I hope, of worms. I hope people watch this and go back and watch Young Hercules, or at the very least I, Google I hope it. the opposite. Isn't just that Google funny? Ryan Gosling, Young Hercules, or don't. and just yeah. see what comes up. Or look up. at the puppies. Because it's amazing.